Corpse Party 2 Dead Patient is, well, the sequel series to Corpse Party. If you haven't seen the finale of Corpse Party Blood Drive, then I highly recommend you do so, as this takes place roughly five years later, and its outcome will be immediately spoiled for you and may leave you a bit confused if you haven't beaten Blood Drive and only played the other games. Just a reminder that this is only the first chapter of what will be presumably a multi-chapter game. Here you play as Ayame Ito, a high school student who wakes up in the operating room in a hospital with amnesia. You will be exploring the hospital looking for a way out, as well as praying you'll find someone else in this seemingly empty hospital. Thankfully, this hospital is nice and neat. Outside of the clothing that's on the ground and the paperwork littered throughout the halls, it's almost as if the rapture took place in the hospital and we're the only ones left. Soon enough, you do find companions, like a press photographer by the name of Ritzko, but unfortunately, this hospital is filled with people who are seemingly not in their right mind and want to kill you. Talk about a real corpse party. Thankfully, while they are on screen and follow you around, companion NPCs don't have to worry about being attacked or taking any damage, so IMA safety is all you really have to be on the lookout for. The game plays out in the same vein as Corpse Party and Corpse Party Blood Drive, with them being adventure games, and as I mentioned a second ago, instead of a haunted school, you'll be exploring a haunted hospital. The game comes with some quality of life changes the franchise desperately needed, like a map. So, getting lost is now next to impossible. The game now tells you what the objective is, so if you couldn't finish this in one sitting, you now know what to do upon your return. Over the course of your two-hour run, you will eventually run into enemies, and unfortunately, damaging them is impossible, so your only option is to run away. You can hide in a closet if you want, but they move so slow, and there is so much lag between their attacks, there really is no point in using it. Just keep moving and you'll be fine. Or not and you can die a very painful and horrible death. Graphically speaking, this game is incredibly simplistic, which is fine. It makes everything sharp looking and easy to understand. I do have a problem with the audio in the game, however. Not that the audio is bad, but the 3D audio that the series is known for is gone. That is a huge disappointment because the sound design is one of those things that Team Gris, Gris went the extra mile to handle. Here, everything is pretty standard stereo audio mixing. Maybe when the absolute final build of the game comes out, it'll have it, but as things are now, its submission is missed. Overall, I had a really good time with Dead Patient, much more than all of my time with Blood Drive. Hopefully, the rest of this game will be as solid as the first chapter. However, that in lies my issue with covering this game. As a standalone, it's perfectly fine. It has a clear beginning, and depending on who you ask, an ending. It's just that the fact that this game is labeled as Chapter 1, and we're getting close to two years with no idea where Chapter 2 is. Even then, the localization for this game took two years. I really hope the future of this series is being figured out at Team Gris Gris. It'd be really disappointing to see a series like this fade away. And that does it for our review of Corpse Party 2 Dead Patient Chapter 1. Or would it be Corpse Party 2 Chapter 1 Dead Patient? Eh, only the future will tell us. If you have any comments or questions about the game or the review, by all means, leave them down in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you all on this. And let me know if you're picking up this game. It'd be good to see this game get some decent sales so we can get some news about Chapter 2 and what the future of this game is looking like. And if you're new to my channel and just finding me out for the first time through this review, hey, be sure to subscribe for future reviews, commentaries, let's plays, and more. And finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon and YouTube members for making today's review possible. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching.